Welcome to Everything Currency. This is a show where we talk about everything crypto and mo. I'm your host Jay and today I want to make a real quick video for you guys. I had some new people slide through in the comments and said, "Hey, look, I think I like that Kylan project. Can you do a tutorial on how to buy these coins that are not on an exchange yet i never bought anything on balancer so i want to make a real quick video on how to do that and i'll make another video that goes more into length that explains a little bit more about web3 but in this video i'm going to make it specifically for the kylan network so in order to buy coins on kylan network you have to buy them in their special liquidity pool right now um, only on balancer network and then on the fifth it's going to be added to uniswap so if you don't know how to use balancer i'm going to assume that you don't know how to use uniswap so i'm going to show you how to use these type of exchanges so the first thing you have to do is install metamask so metamask or um another one would be um, trust wallet or wallet connect or something like that but metamask is just easy to use especially if you're just getting started so what you have to do is go ahead and install the metamask um extension on your browser so i'm using the brave browser right now i have metamask installed already um, in this wallet that i've been using to show you guys how to do things on and um, what you're going to do is you're going to go right here you're going to install the extension it's going to be up here and you're going to add some eth to this wallet and how you add eth to this wallet is after you create a wallet you're going to name the wallet and you're going to copy this to your clipboard this is going to be your receive address now when you want to receive any erc20 coin it's going to go to this address right here so next thing you're going to do is you're going to go to the link in the description i'm going to put the link in the description for the kaylin sale on balancer or you can come to twitter yourself and scroll down and it's their first pin message make sure you have the right pulls and the right everything because people are making some scams and some scam pulls and scam tokens that look like the kyl token on uniswap right now so it's not on uniswap yet it's only on balancer so if you're watching this before the fifth do not buy it on anything except for this exchange right here you click right here where it says the KYL token swap link. Now it's going to bring you to here. This is going to be your interface to swap your tokens. First thing you're going to have to do is connect the MetaMask wallet that you just created. You're going to go ahead and click connect up here in the corner. And like I said, you can use MetaMask. Wallet Connect allows you to connect different wallets that use the Wallet Connect platform. Um, Coinbase Wallet is another one, but right now we're doing MetaMask. So I'm going to select MetaMask and it's going to pop up. It might ask you to enter your password if you haven't done that yet, but it's going to pop up here. After that, you're going to see that it's going to automatically show you USDC, but you can change it to Ethereum if you want to. And the exchange is going to go ahead and route. If I put 0.1 Ethereum in here, it's saying that it's going to give me 100 tokens and it's going to route this Ethereum to USDC. And then it's going to use that USDC to buy the Kalen tokens. And then it's going to automatically deposit those tokens into my MetaMask up here where i will then have to add them as a custom token right here and i'll show you how to do that in a sec so once you go ahead and hit swap which i'm not going to do right now because this pool is going to last for 48 hours and the goal of this pool is to keep people from trying to front run um, everybody and the price of this pool is going to go down in a while so if you click on the second link it's going to show you the information about this pool on balancer so far and you can see here that the price started at $1.50 it's gone up it's gone down but the price is designed to go down over the next 48 hours so um, I would say be smart when you are getting into this token um, the price was never supposed to reach above 95 cents you could see that um, sometimes when they have mechanisms like this the hype alone people don't care they say hey 95 cents is cheap 5 cents is cheap whatever they're still buying it at a dollar 
57 at the moment so you know use your own discretion and buy whenever you want to buy just know that for the next 48 hours there's a chance of the price going down so what you would do is you would hit this swap button the ethereum is going to pop up and it's going to charge you a gas fee now this is what everybody's saying sucks about ethereum right now because these gas fees to use these web3 platforms are too expensive and a lot of people are turned away from it but unfortunately this is the only way that we can get some of these DeFi projects at the moment so i'm not going to buy this at the moment because i'm going to wait for tomorrow and see what happens to the price and even if it goes up oh well i just want to see um, if you go right here to edit, you can choose if you want the fee to be slow. You can pay a little less average or fast. You can pay a little more. Or you can attempt to wait to the gas if see if the gas fees go down a little bit. But right now, yeah, it's costing about 55 bucks to buy about $175 worth of uh, Kalen. So that's going to suck trying to make a buy on that but nonetheless that is how you use these exchanges that are not centralized exchanges these are decentralized exchanges this wallet is non-custodial meaning i hold my private keys to my metamask uh, make sure you extract your private keys off of your metamask when you add it to your browser um so yeah that's how you do it make sure you're on the right token so i would say the easiest way is come to kaylin network on twitter and click on this link right here that's um their smart pool that they have available right now or like i said you can wait till it's on uniswap then you can add the token here so so the easiest way to add the Kalen token to your MetaMask once you have purchased some. So once you complete the swap, it's going to automatically go to your MetaMask wallet and you might not see it here in your token. So what you'll do is you'll come down, you'll go to add token and you'll click. Um, see right here, I'm on CoinGecko.com. I can get the um, token address from here. Copy that. And I can go down and go to custom token paste it in there the token will pop up i can go to next and i can hit add tokens it will get added to the list and if i already bought tokens on the balancer exchange they'll show up in there um and the easier way to do it now coin gecko allows you to just hit this little button right here that says add to metamask and you're able to add the token right there now when you click on your metamask you'll be able to scroll down and see your kaylin tokens right there now, if you still feel worried or it's not popping up, what you can also do is you can always check the blockchain. You hit this button right here, you go to view on Etherscan, and you can click here and it'll show you all the tokens that you have in your wallet, including any NFTs, including any liquidity pool tokens, anything you have in your wallet, stuff that you don't even know is in there. Um, you can check what you have in your wallet through that. You can see all your transactions, etc click this button and it'll show you all of your tokens so I hope this helps some people out remember this is not financial advice I don't know how this token is gonna do in the long run it's just something that I'm hype about also um, this pool is designed to go down over time like they say so I'm not gonna fight with that I can see that you know some people already lost 44% of their money by buying this token at almost two dollars but the trading volume is pretty high so yeah they bought this token at about 280 so yeah we'll see how this goes and it's really interesting to see something like this play out this new type of mechanism that they're using on the balancer pools so i hope this helps some people out with the video i will be doing a more beginner type video on web3 and these wallets and how to connect them and all that stuff if you're a little bit newer if this was a little bit more difficult for you so like and subscribe turn on post notifications till next time peace